Welcome to the Wisecracking Warframe and today an operation called the Two Men of Rekor. Uh, Tenno, I admit I've made mistakes. Terrible mistakes that have left me crippled with decay. Now, I ask you for your mercy till Rhaegor's hidden cloning labs hold secrets. Secrets that could prove most regenerative for, for me. If, if I get you into the labs, will you bring me the data I need? What do you say? Will you give a sick man one more chance? Blasphemy! You must not help Alan purge his body of the infestation. I have an alternate proposition. I pay you to destroy the labs before Alid can get his rancid hands on Till Rhaegor's research. The Grenier lose, Alid loses, and the Void, the Void is pleased. It's up to you, Tenno. Will you make the righteous choice? So to summarize, Tal Rhaegor is secretly cloning stuff. Alid B wants his research and Nev Anyo wants to destroy everything so the thing you need to decide is for which side you will fight so you go to Uranus and pick the mission choose a side and start the mission and when you complete this mission three times for one side you get a special prize let's first see what happens when we choose Nep on your side We'll be walking through the new Grenier Ocean Tiles there and you'll see all new kinds of environments like this water all around you look how beautiful it looks it's kind of nice here you go all these tubes looks great no enemies though but whatever oh here's an enemy kill him there we go and there you see a little bit of electricity in the water so don't touch the water be smart be like a ninja here we go go through that and there's the computer which turns the electricity off there you go there's another tip if you ever see this in your mission and there we go this is the first console we need to hack to go through the door so here we go and finally we did that so now we can go through the door and we get to this room so we need to destroy three pipes to let the water in and as soon as we do that we need to go upstairs and we need to turn on the machine to flood the water inside the room and this is what you need to do in every mission So now it's just a matter of defending the pump machine. We'll just need to wait till all the water rises to the top and then we can go to the next bit. Here 
So now that the pump machine is done and all the water has risen, it's time for the next part. So here's a little tip, a nice sneaky route, just jump into the water and you have a little short shortcut. There we go, so we continue. And here's another console we need to hack. So there we go, time to continue. The pesky Grenier keep coming, but there are no men in my Valkyr. And also these these enemies aren't that hard. They're only level 15, most of them, so. So here we go, another door, another console to hack. Here comes the interesting part. For some cases, we need to fight this manic bomber. And let's first see this instance. So, there we see the manic bomber. It's time to kill him, but we need to go downstairs first. See, I'm, I'm looking for the for the way to go. I can't see. And there is a door there, doorway. And here we go. We go downstairs into the room. So we wake him up with a loud bang and now we fight we fight we fight I say come on fight with me come on fight and there we go we fight we fight and you die so now we did this little part it's time to go to the extraction point. Your idea? Give unto the void. How about I scalpel off your little danglers and give them unto the void? Hmm? What do you think about that idea, Neffy? These labs will be out of commission for a long time. That's what matters most. Get to extraction So here we are at the extraction point. We can finally return home. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. So now that we've seen Nef Onyo's mission, it's time to check out Ever Peace Time. Thank you. 
So also in this case we need to hack a lot of consoles. So here's the first one. We got into the room with the pipes and we destroy them. We hack this console so the pump machine will begin to start and the water will rise and we defend it. Well, 100% is reached. Time for the second part. But only this time, it's a little bit different. Last time, it was a manic bomber. But this time, it'll be different. And you'll see. Just wait. So LFB wants us to steal the research from Talrag. So this time we don't need to kill any bombers, no. We just need to go first to this room and destroy the drone. You see three drones there, we need to destroy all three of them. There we go, all three destroyed. And this time, we need to do a little something like this. Did you see what I did there? I just used the console and, and I stole the research. But this wasn't the right way to do this, I think, because other missions I did totally different things. But this is a way I got the point. So maybe it's the way you can do it. There we go. And that was enough for the mission because now I go to the extraction point and I just got the point. So I guess I did the right thing. But to be sure, I did this mission a lot of times. So in the next little part, I will show you what you need to do when you get into the tube room and you do a mission for the big nav. So now that we've shown you both sides, it's time for me to pick a side. And I pick Nefendo's side because he's the man with the plan and I like him. He's a good guy. So we did this mission a couple of times. We need to do this three times to get one point. So let's do it three times to get the first point and to get the badge. So let's do this. Let's do it fast. And here is the tube room. And here's what you need to do when you pick Nef and your side. You need to rise up these tubes and destroy them. And don't forget to go to the drone room and destroy the drones as well. So there we go, we did it. And we did it three times, which means we get our first prize and it's some credit. Isn't it great? But because this is the first point, we also get the badge. 
So, to get the great new weapon, we need to do this three more times to get the four points. So, we pick all the different kinds of Warframes to see if it's possible to do it with any one of them. And it is! So let's just always pick one side, nap on your side, and remember you can get credits or you can get fusion cores and nothing else. So we got two points now. We get another prize, the fusion cores, 25 of them, which is pretty handy, it's pretty great. Now we got three points, we did it three more times, and another prize was waiting for us. Another 25 fusion cores. And there we go, now we did all of them, we got four points. Now we only need to wait six more days to see what side wins and what weapon we will get. At the end it doesn't matter what side you chose because you get the prize of the winner, and the other prize will be dust in the wind. Sometimes it can get a little buggy, and there's a big construction in your way. Don't be like me and just keep banging on it for hours and hours, because you can't get through. Just abort and try another time. Good luck. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want another video, I got a Warframe video for you right here. And if you like something different, I got some GTA 5. Click on it. Love you.